This video is going to cover the topic of writing two-step equations. Be sure the date and topic are at the top of your page. Our essential question is a follow-up to a previous lesson we have done, which is how do we write an equation to show two steps in an algebraic relationship? As we know from previous work, equations, or what we sometimes call rules, use variables to show a relationship or a connection between two things. For example, I could use the equation m equals 8h to represent m, the money I make, in h hours if I make $8 an hour. Right? So I can use that equation to find out how much I would make for any number of hours that I might work. Sometimes, however, we need more than one step to show the relationship. This is an example of a one-step equation because all we're doing is multiplying. That's the only operation that's taking place. But sometimes we have to do more than just multiply. Sometimes we do a mixture of adding, multiplying, subtracting, or dividing. Let's take a look at an example I have for gym memberships. Often at a gym, if you want to join, you are asked to do two sets of payments. They first ask you to pay a deposit. That's money you pay up front, you, and you only pay it once. Then, after you've paid your deposit, you then have to pay a monthly bill. This is a set amount that you have to pay for all the months during which you have a membership. So let's say, for example, that you join a gym and you need to pay $45 for a deposit. That's just what you pay to sign up. Then each month, let's say we pay $20. Because there are two things happening, it means that this algebraic relationship requires two steps and is therefore a two-step equation. Let's take a look at that relationship in both a table and a graph before we turn it into an equation. Let's start with the table, and the table is going to show us how much the cost is after a certain number of months. So in this table, when we have zero months, right when we start, before we've even been there a whole month, we're paying $45 because that's our deposit, right? We're not starting with zero dollars. We have to start at 45. Then we have to add $20 to that for our first month, right? And we would continue adding $20 every time after that. Right? And I'll just fill a few of these in. We're not gonna do a whole year's worth. We'll just put a few in here to see what that looks like. So this is the table that represents our gym membership. With that information, I can go ahead and make a graph. I'm just going to do that here to the side. So I have my graph here, and of course the cost depends on how many months we're at the gym. So I've used my months on my x-axis here, and my cost is my y-axis, my dependent variable. So this is what it looks like as a table and as a graph. But the question is, what does it look like as an equation? It makes the most sense to me to use the variables m for month and c for cost. The first thing I know is that the cost is going to be $20 for every month that I'm there. Right? So I can write that part out. However, that's not all. Right? That's not all I'm paying. On top of that, I have to pay a $45 fee. But I pay that once. I don't pay that every month. So I'm going to add that on here. I'm just going to say in addition to that, I'm going to one time pay $45. It doesn't have a variable next to it because it's a fixed fee. It does not change based on the number of months you go to the gym. So this would be our equation that represents our two steps. We would first, according to PEMDAS, need to multiply, and then we would add on one time our extra fee. And this actually shows up in our table as well. You can see that that 45 shows up at month zero, and you can see the 20 is what this is jumping by every time, right? This is adding 20 every month, which is where the 20 comes from as our coefficient. Mathematically, we can call that 20 in front of our m, our coefficient, and our constant is the 45 that's just being added on separately. So we saw it in the table. In the graph, we can see it as well, because in the graph, the graph starts on the y-axis at 45, right? and then you can see if we checked that it would jump 20 every time 
and that's where the 20 comes from. So the two-step equation actually shows up both in the table and in the graph, as well as in the equation itself. Now I know that's a lot, and I kind of put a lot of information on one page to try to be able to see it all together. It's kind of squished there. I apologize for that. But I just wanted to show you how you can connect all three representations. Remember, we have multiple representations of data. We have three representations here, and they all show a two-step equation in a different way. So this is just a quick video on how to write an equation that shows two steps of an algebraic relationship, a two-step equation. We'll be working with it together in class, and this will be a big focal point with your work next year as seventh graders.